Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome to Hoovalux, Dorian here, welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Ah, out of breath saying all that. Guten Tag, mein Freunden, and konnichiwa. So here we have the first in the series I'm going to call The Gables, because uh, I bought these from Andrew, so I am going to start, because I'm itching to start on them, restoring them and cleaning them up and tidying them up. So the first one I've picked here is this Turbo Power Plus with brush edge cleaning. So what I'm going to do is we are going to strip it all down, clean it all up and get it up and running. So the first thing I'm going to do is get you a bit closer so you can take a look at this green goddess. Okay, so here we have the green goddess. Uh, Turbo Power Plus, like I said, it is very good. It's got, you can't see, let me hoist you up. It's got the air freshener at the front. It's got a bag indicator, full ba bag full indicator, and the on and off switch, two powers, that's at the very top. If we turn it around, it's got its hose at the side with the uh, long tool. And then at the back, we've got a dusting brush, a upholstery brush, but we're missing the crevice tool. But I happen to have a crevice tool in here somewhere. I've got a crevice tool hanging around here somewhere, so I'll use the crevice tool from that into this one. Uh, it doesn't have a roundel on it, but it does have Hoover imprinted in the plastic, so I'm not really fussed over that. That's fine. Cord hook at the bottom. Can't see again. There we go. Is intact, thank goodness. And it's in excellent condition. It just needs some Hoover Lux TLC. So what we are going to do is I'm going to release the cord, because it's got a really cord release. Popped on that. We're going to plug it in, and you'll switch it on. And I'll switch it on. Okay, so that is that. Let me turn it over. So it's got a little bit of a lean to it, just a little bit, but I can address that. So we're going to flip it over. And then I'm going to switch it back on again. That's on low mode. And that's on high mode so the brush roll the belt is as loose as as loose as something I can't say on YouTube um, and there's a teeny weeny little bit of rust on yes that's not a problem we can address that first thing we need to do is to strip it um, and then we can get a closer look so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera right up close looking down and we will start stripping this lady so there we go, so I've got you above. What I'm gonna do is remove all the parts that are gonna be clean. So the first things I'm going to remove are the tools. Then I'm going to remove the tube. 
and release the hose. I have to release the hose from this. There's a little metal clasp clip down in there. So I just use my little hook and push it back. There we go, I can release the hose. Pull it through. Oops. So there we go. So that's the hose released. I'm going to remove the button now. Gosh, I was just going to pull it off. Oops. So there we have the bag door. Can't really see much until I get the bag door off. Once I get the bag door off, you will be able to see everything better. Get my little hook. Right, on my other one I could do that easy, but I can't. So what I'm going to have to do is use Let's get the bag off. Clip at the bottom. I've got about a zillion of these clips. There we go. No, I can't take it off yet until I get this. Right, I'm working ass backwards here, aren't I? Let me get my, where is it that she is? The parts. And what I'm gonna do is, 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 is. Get a card and a pen. Uh, this is the Turbo Power Plus. So I'm going to do a screw card for it. I'm going to leave them there for a second because I'm going about it all ass backwards. So what I'm going to do is flip her over unplug it, which would be a good idea, there we go, and we can use for the first time my torque set on my Bosch, Bish Bash Bosch, I need to increase the torque for undoing it. So 
we got four screws. The thing is, when you've gone and done these cards once, like Sam said, that's it then. The, the cards are done. You don't have to do them again. That is the sole plate. Let's take that off. Not too bad. It's just a shame the belt is as soft as buggery. Remove the brush roll. No, it's not too bad to be honest. There's a little bit of rust on there that I can take off and uh, grease the bearings and uh, hey presto. Pop that to one side of the way. Brushes on it are pretty good as well. This belt is knackered. It's a goodbye belt. I had to move you onto the floor because you were gonna fall over. Space is limited as it is. cubes right uh, next I'm going to remove this for the height adjuster this little wire which is very easy to remove in you go there we go and that's the height adjusting wheels off now this thing might have a screw in it. This is the one, oh, this is a pain in the ass. To, to divert the suction to the hose, you push the height adjuster all the way across and then it, sugar, and then it blocks off this airway here. Well, technically, that's, it, it's just not very good. There's not very good suction on it, to be honest. So what I'm gonna do is remove this gingerly because there is a little spring and I'm going to remove the spring off it and keep that safe. This has a tendency to break easily, the belt guard. That's off. It's very clean on the inside. I mean, it's mucky, but it's not packed full of dirt, if you know what I mean. It just needs some TLC. So anyway, we've done that. Now what we have to do is undo the screw there and the screw there. There's two on this one, so that I can get the hood off. Typical, isn't it? They're not gonna come out magnetically. No. Sod's law. Come on, you little bugger. There we go, two. Hood. It's the hood. So if I flip this around, I should now be able to Remove the hood. Yes. And there we go. There's the hood removed. A uh, little bit of muck on the inside. Let me get Henry. Ah, now this is a funny story. <laughs> this is an Electrolux brush with natural bristles, but it was all matted and knotted and it was in a right old state. So I thought, oh, I wonder how I can do that. <gasps> I know, so I got the dog clippers and I clipped it and I clipped it into a shape. I clipped the big lump out that was stuck underneath there and then I shaped it and tidied it up with the dog clippers. It works really well. Upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing. That's what I say or that's what my nan used to say. So I'm going to use this for old time's sake. <laughs>
So this has got a different motor in it because it's got a headlight thing on it. Hmm. So this must be the new, he, he, Andrew said that he'd put in a new motor, but it must have been from one which has got a headlight. I wonder if that headlight actually works. Shall we try, children? Let's plug this in. Really cool. The headlight works. That is wicked. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't possibly adulterate this, could I? Because I would be murdered by the vacuum mafia. But what I could do, if I put the hood on, let's just uh, plug it back in. It might kind of like shine out the top or something, but it doesn't, so I'm not going to bother. <clears throat> That's a shame. I have a penchant for things that flash and light up. And bright colours, as you probably know, can guess by now. Um, anyway, so... Let us, pray, let us take these off. Um, right. Yes, we're definitely unplugged. Let's unplug this. Brown at the top. Oh. Brown at the top. Blue at the bottom. There we go. No more power to it. Let me undo this. motor bracket Sometimes I can read my own writing after I thought it's supposed to have full torque Got it on full talk. That's minimum talk. And that's supposed to be full talk. Never mind. No! Whoosh! Teeny weeny little bit of rust on that bracket, but that'll come off. Body brackets, main body brackets. Times two. I need to take this clip off, so I may as well do it now for the bellows.
Getting this bloody clip off the bellows is always a nightmare. Getting the, sorry, getting the bellows off the motor. There we go. Excellent. Off. So this now frees the motor for me to take out. Oh, these bloody motors are a feckle to put in. That's why I have to grease them when I'm putting them back in. Right, so there we go. I've got the rubber grommets off. I'm going to take them off and clean them. There's the motor. So that's for my cleaning pile. I'm going to put the motor to one side for now. Oh, I can see two screws in the bellows stuck in there. Keep them. Never know when you need a screw. Said the actor to the bishop. Right, okay, so that removes the body off the bottom. There's that piece of sponge that I'm going to be removing. There we go, that can be cleaned. Then there's the uh, foot release pedal with the spring. That will be cleaned, keep the spring. Now we're left with this. Height adjuster. And then you just clip that and clip that and that pops out and that pops from underneath. For cleany cleanies. Bumper just slides out of its place. And there we go. So that's the body completely taken apart, the, well, the base anyway. And the bumper taken off for cleaning. Now we come to the main body. This is suddenly very, very, very light. So what I'm gonna be doing first of all is removing this bag door. Oh shit. So if I release the screw, and the other two screws, what are we going to call this? Bag door brackets. I don't know what the technical name is for these. Bag door brackets. Bag door brackets. So that releases the bag door now. Here's the air freshener. Oh, it's still going in there. Oh, it still has a faint smell. I've got an original one here somewhere. Where is it? No, it's not an original one, but they still got a smell in them. Hmm. I'll keep them. Uh, this is a thing because it's got this paper sticker on it. So what I'm going to try and do so I can clean it fully is try and remove this ever so slowly and then I can stick it back on I'm not going to do it in front of the camera because I'll probably get lynched if something happens to it
this does not come out easily. The other one did. No, I'm, do you know what? I'm not risking it. It doesn't want to come out easily, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to leave it on there and clean it as it is. No risky, no damage. So, what I have to do now is remove two screws off the bellows. Well, it's not bello, sorry, it's the bag, bag inlet. Bag inlet. And that should just all remove out. So I've got the bellows down here and then the bag inlet. And I also have here, which is the part for the um, adjust um, sensor for that. For the bag full indicator or block indicator. Remove off that little cap off the end. Now I'm going to pull the wire through. Pull this up through here. So the last time I did this, I bloody damaged it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spot of grease on these screws. And I'm going to put a spot of grease in here. because I do not want to de-thread it like I did last time. I couldn't get this off because one of the screws, those those kind of like bolts on the back of it, they're just sort of like ridged and then pushed into the plastic. So if they're too tight and they lose grip of the plastic, that's it. Game over. So what I'm gonna do is remove this panel. There's one. same yeah they are all the same one two three four five um, and we'll call this the electrical housing electrical cover Oh my god, it's just like throw an electrical cover. I'm gonna remove the handle. So there we go. Switches here, so that should just there should be a pop up thing for it. Oh, yeah, no, that's great, it pops out, but bloody hell, <sighs> gotta remember where all these pegging cables go. And there's lots of them, it's not fair. What the hell is that? Oh, is that a... Is that a... Is that the reducer thing? 
plug it and plug it in there. So we've got the top of that little reducer, then the brown, then the reducer, and they're together. Oh, it's okay. So there are three screws, those ones together, then the brown, then the top. Right, okay, fine. I'm going to put them back because now that I've released it, I'm not going to be doing anything to it apart from just cleaning it, so I don't want it removed. Uh, indicator light. Pushed in. It's pushed into the plastic so it's kept nice and tight. That's the little bellowy thing, bellows. Ah raw, I see, I see. Right, okay, let me get the, let me get the um The other one I worked on didn't have an indicator light on it and the bellows thing. I'm sure it didn't. Let me take the power cable off. And let me take the cord grip off. I'm just going to leave that as it is. So there we go, so there's my cable released. <clears throat> I'll chuck that down there. Uh, now we have back plate, there's a little screw here. Uh -huh, see? which is um, what should we call it so I don't know the names for these things let's call it cord entrance e bracket uh, back so I know it goes in through the back that's that Next, there is a screw here holding this plastic board in. So I'm going to call that the main board screw. to get this indicator light out so that I can now this it pushes through but it doesn't it's in well that's the problem I mean do the cables Oh, you little monkey. Hang on, it's coming. 
Breach Birth. No gas in there. doing its job it's in fast that's what it's supposed to do it's never going to be as tight as this when i'm trying to put it back now i can guarantee There we go. Yes. No damage, thank God. And then this whole corner piece can come out. Voila! Here I have now removed the nervous system. Dr. Hooverlux. Pretty manky on the inside. <coughs> Four screws here to release the back part. Sounds a lot worse than it actually is. So there's the tool storage. One, two, three, four. Finally, very, very slowly.
Oh, wonderful. Oh, that is so wonderful. Thank you. So I was able to remove that without damaging anything on it. Brilliant. So I need to put these last two screws onto the card. And they're quite fat. And that is the um, hose assembly. Hose assembly. Oh, hello. Right, so there we go. The tool card. Please excuse my handwriting. I have the handwriting of a four-year-old. Mrs. Part in J2, no, she was in J3, said I had the handwriting that looked like a spider had run across the page. Mrs. Part, I have let you down. I still have the handwriting that looks like a spider has run across the page. 30 odd years later, I am so sorry. Anyway, but I can understand it. It's English of some sort. So there we go. That is it. Reduced to nothing. Reduced to bits of plastic. Um, let me just put my screw card somewhere safe. The nervous system just needs um, a dusting and a wiping over with a wet wipe. That's all that, that needs. The motor I will take. It's running a bit dry on the bearings, but I can hear it. What I will do is, someone said to me if I grip the back of this, I should be able to twist the fan off. Let's have a look. Let me uh, lift off these clips that hold the motor in, which I think is what to do. I can't remember which way you do these then. Oh, yeah. Be careful because they, they do, they fly off. You know, this one only has three. Oh, this one's been put on upside down. Shit. It's been put on upside down. Now it's gonna be a nightmare. Oh. No, it wasn't. Ha ha ha. It was put on upside down, but it wasn't a nightmare to get on. So if I use, if I use my mold clips and a cloth, this'll do. So if I put my mold grips on there, I if I put my glove over there or a cloth or something over the spindle and then use my mole grips, I should. Mole grips tighter door. Not tighter. No. No, it's not going to work. Even though I got the mold grips on tight. Let me try the rubber part. Said the actress to the bishop. Yeah, there we go. Hey, hey, fan off. So that's the fan off, so I'll clean the fan as well. 
while I'm at it. That's the bearing there. I think that's a suppressor, isn't it? Can anyone tell me, is that a suppressor? And if so, how the hell do I remove this? Oh, what? Is it possible? I don't know. I'm not really fussed on, actually, on removing the suppressor, then. Uh, so we've got some flat screws. Let's have a look. Because I think this should just pop off. If I start getting out of my depth, Sam, I promise I'm not going to go any further and be like, Sam, I'm sending you a motor down. Yeah, help me. Come on. Right. That's off the front, I remember that. Oh crap, do you know what I've done? I pulled that off, forgetting about the bloody... I haven't broken it, don't worry, I haven't broken it, I promise. It's not broken. But it's dry as buggery. Absolutely caked in dirt.
Okay. And that's the field coil. Where is the bearing at the back of that? See that bearing is dry as bubble. You can hear it. Hear it? That's what's making the motor sound really, really loud. Right, I'm going to leave this like this. Because it's going to need cleaning. I can see the... carbon brushes. See, all of that's full of mank. All of this is full of mank. Look, see? It's absolutely caked in dirt. Dirt and dog hair. But don't worry. We'll clean it up. The green goddess, you will work better than ever. We will clean you and polish you. And make you all better. Anyway, I'm not going to touch the motor for now. And I'm going to call this part one. Because <coughs> otherwise it's going to go on forever. It's already been going on for 50 minutes on this one lap. So I'm going to get all of these parts cleaned. And I will see you in part two. Which I will start doing tomorrow. Because I have to clean all these. And uh, polish them up and get them all done and dusted. Um, I'll do a little like time-lapse video thing of the motor being tidied up and put together because uh, it needs it and we will definitely get this sounding a lot better but I wonder how I get access oh shit how I get access into this or if I can just put some oil down in see the Ball bearings, they sound, I'm not an expert, they sound fine, they just sound really dry. Just out of morbid curiosity. I just put a little squirt of that down there. It spins better. There must be a way of removing this from it. I don't want to go yanking and pulling and busting it. But I can see that there's dirt in on the on the blades as well. So what I'll do is I'll take my little pick and I can pick all the bits out. Right, let's end part one, otherwise we're going to be here till Christmas. So anyway, so thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. I will do part two tomorrow, or start doing it at least. I think this is going to take me a day or two, or three. And um, thank you very much, and I will see you all in part two.